this is the messy part, crush and strain. I'm just cutting the comb out of the frames. I'm just going to clean up the burr comb, scrape that off. I'll leave that strip there on the top bar, the bees can clean it up. And yes, this is messy. Look, you can see that honey just dripping down there. So this is basically just exactly as the name implies. I'll just cut this out of the frame. Look at that. All I have to do is crush that up now. But before I get too carried away, geez, that honey's nice. I'm just going to take this super of the bare frames, take that out for a hive, put it back on. The bees can clean it up, and I'll start drawing, drawing the comb all over again and filling it with nectar. I'll be back shortly. All right, time to get messy. There's not much to cross the strain. All you do is crush it. Tell you what, that's a fair workout for the forearm too. There's the honey and the wax. I've just weighed it, 3.8 kilograms. Uh, we've got 2.2 something pounds to the kilogram. So it's probably getting up around 7 pounds of honey and wax, of course. Now for the strain process. This is going to be slow and, well, not necessarily laborious, but slow anyway. It's coming through alright, so there'll still be some smaller wax particles in that. I'm not overly concerned about it. But when I um, when I start extracting with the frames and the centrifugal extractor, I'll certainly have better filtration in place then. But this stuff here, it's just for giving away. So it's not like people can be complaining about the price. Oh no, there's the honey that I've strained off, that I've crushed and strained. There's a little bit of wax still floating there on the top. I'm not going to worry too much about that. So once the honey is strained off, I just got the, the wax basically and obviously there was still some honey left in there. I just put the whole thing, whole this bowl this into the microwave for about five minutes. Heated it all up and just let it cool down. So now I've got the wax, a little bit of honey there, but you know, I can always, that'll just rinse off. Dead 
this honey here I'll keep that for my own use I'll rinse that off and that can go out in the solar wax melter now we get to see more mess Beautiful, just bloody beautiful. Well, the ice cream container worked out to be so good for pouring. I'm using it again. And yes, I've heated the honey a little, but not a lot. Alrighty, that's the honey harvest. This is my first serious honey harvest from my own bees, not from Dad's bees or anyone else's, not from bird cone. So I've got 19 chunks of honeycomb there, um, plus six and a bit jars of crushed and strained honey. So the final breakdown for the honeycomb. 6.88 kilograms or 15 pounds two and a half ounces and for the crushed and strained honey three kilograms or six pounds ten ounces ten a bit just under ten ounces so that's from eight frames of eight ideal size frames they're five and three eighths inches and that was basically two weeks work for the bees so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.